welcome to our first Bright Cellars YouTube cocktail. Today we're gonna to be making something super, super easy. We've got some nice fresh ingredients here um, and it is a perfect way to kick off summer, especially with those hot days coming up. This is gonna be super refreshing and you can use some of the herbs that are probably in your newly planted garden from over the spring. So let's get started. We will be making a cucumber Sauvignon Blanc fizz and the fizz comes from cava or champagne and we've got some fresh herbs like mint we've got some fresh limes so this will be a perfect refreshing drink for those hot days that are coming up so this is the first time i've ever made this but it sounds delicious and i'm really excited um, so bear with me if we are going a little bit too slow for anybody who is a seasoned cocktail maker just bear with me here but if you are new like me, let's get started. And I think what I'm gonna start out with is the ice. That is what I always start out with in my drinks. And you can see I have a cocktail shaker, but I'm gonna put fresh ice in here so that when we dump the drink, it strains. So I'm gonna scoop the ice with the shaker so that we don't get any broken glass in there. And so I'll have some already in the shaker for me. Um, it's just the easiest way to do it, I think, but obviously you can do it however is best for you. Um, we got some leftovers. Um, so now that you got your ice in there, um, I typically start with the liquor first, but I think I'm gonna go with the lime juice and the mint, just so that it's nice and, I don't know, marinating on the ice. Um, so let's get chopping. I think these, the recipe does call for about an ounce of each, a half ounce of lime juice, um, but I think it's up to taste. It's whatever you think is best. And the mint only calls for a pinch, but I really like mint, so I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Um, and if you're good at chopping herbs, please look away, because I am not very good at chopping herbs. But I leave the stems on there, if you were wondering. Um, I think it adds more flavor. So that's why I'm just chopping it up as a whole bunch. And we're just gonna sprinkle that on in. A lot. You can also save some mint for garnish if you do want a little bit on top. I know I'm gonna want some just to make it look kind of pretty um, and especially for that summer aesthetic. Um, it calls for juice of half of a lime. So I'm just gonna squeeze that right on into the shaker. Perfect. Not the best, but I'm certainly not the worst, so that's okay. So the recipe calls for three ounces of Sauvignon Blanc and three ounces of cava, which is champagne from Spain. So that is what we are using today. And we are going to use a small shot glass to measure. You can eyeball it if you want to, um, but for the sake of the recipe, we're just gonna use the measuring cup. And now you get to watch me open champagne. Or kind of, how exciting for everybody but me. No spill. That was good. All right, so we're gonna do, like I said before, just another three ounces of the kava. You gotta be careful when you're pouring this one though so it doesn't bubble over like I'm about to do. And we'll just dump it in there. And a little top off. The last thing you're going to add is going to be two teaspoons of sugar. Now we have this cutesy spoon here, which I assume is about a teaspoon, maybe a little more. So we're just gonna eyeball that one. You can do a lot of this to taste as well. I am a firm believer that cocktails have nice recipes. However, you can kind of just make it up as you go. If you know you like it sweeter, you can add more sugar. If you know that you like fresh mint like I do, add a little bit more in there. So you got the sugar, and then I always like to top off with the mixer, which in our case is cucumber water. Um, we got sparkling. You can make your own cucumber water at home. We uh, just got pre-made for simplicity and because uh, we had no cucumbers. If you did wanna make your own cucumber water, all you have to do is grate, blend it, and then strain it. And that thicker juice that you get is going to be the cucumber water. Um, if you like a bit more of a fresher feeling, that would be a good way to go. Um, but for us, we're just gonna use the cucumber sparkling water that we have here. Our recipe calls for one ounce, but I'm just gonna top it off a little bit. And now that you have all of the fizzy liquids in here, you're gonna shake it very carefully. I recommend two hands if it's possible. 
we're just gonna give it a small shake and my hands are freezing, so we're gonna open it and pour it into the glass now. And we're just gonna strain it so we don't risk it popping open with all the fizz. Almost a perfect pour. And now, like I said before, you can garnish with the mint. Um, I'm just gonna take a few leaves from before. They're not very pretty because I cut them up, but a nice mint leaf to garnish. And we're good to go. Cheers. Oh, that's good. So now that we are all done, feel free to enjoy. We really like the way the Sauvignon Blanc fits in this drink just because it pairs super well with the lime and it's got some herbaly notes as well because we did pick a Spanish Sauvignon Blanc to pair with the Spanish Cava. And both of them pair really well with the herbalness of the mint leaves. So that is kind of the background as to why we picked those items. If you have a favorite Sauvignon Blanc that you'd prefer to use or a favorite Cava, feel free to use those as well, but always remember to try to match your fruits. So we found lime in this Sauvignon Blanc so we matched it with the lime here. Just remember the golden rule, match the fruits to each other, like I just said. Um, so Pinot Grigio might be a good move. You could also pick a Verdejo as well. It's very light, limey, zesty, and citrus. That's kind of what you want with this drink. Um, and you could also use any, probably any sparkling with this as well. I know Cava was pretty selective, um, but I think that the bubbles add really well with the citrus of the lime. So there you have it. If you have any questions about how to make this recipe or a suggestion as to how we could make it better, leave it in the comments. We would be so happy to hear from you and cheers.